exceed 100 milliliters or a 0.350 molarity sucrose solution. I have salt for you. We have to convert. The formula we're going to use is molarity equals mole of solute, which is in moles, over volume of solution, which is in liters. We are using this formula because we are using a solid solute, NaCl, which is salt. When creating a solution with a solute that is solid, the mass needs to be determined. You have to add water until the final solution volume is reached. We're given 100 milliliters. We have to convert it to liters. We put 100 milliliters here and then divide it by 10 to the third or 1,000 and we get 0.1 liters. We have to set up the equation. Since we have the molarity, I put 0.350 molarity here equals mole since we don't know it, over 0.1 liters. Now we just have to cross multiply 0.35 moles. Since we can't measure moles in the lab, we have to convert moles to grams. And we get this number from the molar mass of NaCl. This equals 2.05 grams, which would be measured as 2.0 grams in the lab. Okay, so first I measured 2.0 grams of salt in this, but my phone ran out of storage. So then I put that in a volumetric flask, which is this one. Then we're going to add enough water to make it 100 milliliters. Okay, so for number two, it says you are still my lab TA and I need 100 milliliters of a 0.350 mol molarity salt solution. But now I can only give you 2.0 molarity stock solution of salt. The formula we are going to use is M1 times V1 equals M2 times V2. I'm going to use that because it's a liquid solute which when creating a solution with a solute that is already a solution, the volume of concentrated stock solution must first be determined and added to the water, which is the solvent, until the final solution volume is reached. We are given 0.350 molarity would be M1 times 100 milliliters, which is V1, obviously, 2.0 m times v2 my writing sucks now we're going to measure 18 milliliters of stock solution we're going to add 18 milliliters of stock solution to this volumetric flask Next, we're gonna add enough water to get 100 milliliters. 